Hi, I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Ava, still. Still. And we're going to, in the video, part one, we found the splitting field of x to the fourth plus two over q. And um, in this video, we're going to give the Galois group of this polynomial. So first of all, it helps to know the, the degree of this extension of the splitting field over q. So we're going to just, for easy, we'll call it f. So we want to know the degree of f over q. Well, we can split this up since q adjoined 4 through to 2 and i can be written as q adjoined 4 through to 2 at join i. Um, we're going to consider that field over the field q adjoined 4 through to 2, and then consider the degree of q adjoined 4 through to 2 over q. So Dedekind's product theorem, or the Tower Law, says that this number, this dimension of f over q, is equal to the dimension of this over that times the dimension of this over that. So first, let's consider this. Fourth root of 2 over q, this will be equal to the degree of this field over that field is equal to the degree of the minimal polynomial of the fourth root of 2 over q. And we know that to be x to the fourth minus 2. That's monic, but why is it irreducible? It's irreducible because of Eisenstein's criterion where p equals 2. Oh, that's reasonable. Yeah, we can use Eisenstein. Cool. So this degree is 4. And so considering this one, we need the minimal polynomial of i over the fourth root of 2. And I claim that that polynomial is the following polynomial and lives in here. But before we say that this is the minimal polynomial, why is this irreducible over this field with larger coefficients, Mackenzie? Well, clearly, the only roots of this polynomial would be i and negative i. And i and negative i don't live in this here. Totally not. I agree. Do you guys agree? OK, so this is 3, 2. So clearly, this extension is 8. So we have a normal and separable um, extension field. So this is Galois over Q. So to find the Galois group, we will know that it has eight elements by the fundamental theorem of Galois theory. So let's begin that now. I'm going to erase some stuff. You take over, Ken. All right, so we're going to consider sigma and tau in the Galois group uh, Q adjoined fourth root of two and I over Q. And so it's taking, so sigma is taking the fourth root of two to I fourth root of two, and then it's fixing I. And then tau fixes the fourth root of two and then takes I to negative I. Cool. And we're going to show that, that this group of order eight, the claim is that this is isomorphic to the symmetry group of the square. So guess what? This might be rotations, right? Mackenzie, what might that be? Flips. Oh, so everybody knows there's three things to show, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. So we want to show the following, that sigma to the fourth power is the identity. The identity element, the identity automorphism, and we want to show um, that sigma to the fourth is the identity, and in fact that the order of sigma is equal to four. Both of those things, and we want to show that tau to the second is the identity, and not only that, but also that tau is order is two and not one. And then lastly, we have that crazy little thing. Remember, if you uh, rotate, flip, and rotate, you have a flip. So here, we want to show if you have a if you apply sigma, if you apply sigma, then tau, then sigma, that you get tau. Excuse the thunder noise. Our city is uh, drowning in Galois tears. He died <laughs> too young. So these are what we want to show. So Mackenzie is much better at calculating stuff than I am. So I'll do these part. Um, let me show this one first. So consider sigma of, uh, oh, it, it suffices to show, to show that the order is 4, it suffices to show the order is 4, uh, that, sorry, that 
for to, to show the effect of sigma on this element and that element on uh, the on the two generators in our splitting field, four, three to two, and I. So sigma on the four, three to two. So sigma on the four, three to two would be I four, three to two by our definition over there. Mm-hmm. And then which way should I go? Go down. Go down. But then why am I this part to the left? I don't know. Okay. And then sigma squared to the fourth root of two is? That sigma of sigma of the fourth root of two. You're just standing in front of We just found what sigma of the fourth root of two is, so sigma of i fourth root of two. You can do this here. Um, so Sigma of i is i, and sigma of 4 through 2 is i 4 through 2, which gets us negative 4 through 2. And voila, is that... We gotta keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not voila, yeah. Okay. Uh, sigma to the third, 4 through 2. Notice um, what Kenji was doing here is using the homomorphism properties of an automorphism, like splitting products and... And it's, yeah, you know what she's doing. All right. You're in front of it. Every time. So we just found that sigma squared of 4 through 2 is negative 4 through 2. We can just take this negative out. because sigma is the identity on the rationals, so negative 1 pops up. You might have to erase. Did I do this right? Yeah. 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 And so sigma to the fourth of 4 through 2 is? Sigma of sigma cubed. Four through two. This would be sigma of negative i four through of two equals negative sigma of i. Sorry. Negative <laughs> sigma four through two. I is Negative i times i four through two. Which would just be 4 through 2. Because negative i squared is positive 1, and if there's room for me to write that, well, there's nothing, nothing to say here. And then sigma is 4 through 2. Uh, sigma to the fourth of 4 through 2 is 4 through 2, and that's the smallest power that returned 4 through 2. So, so yes, we have shown that uh, sigma to the fourth is the identity on oh, that right. one generator. It's not the identity in general yet. We still have to you're check right, it on right. I. It's not a check mark yet. Not yet. Okay. So let's prove then that on the generator I, which is much simpler. In fact, you're probably thinking, what are they actually going to write on the board since I doesn't go anywhere? But <laughs> we're being complete here. So the I is I. Squared I is sigma of. Sigma of i is a race. sigma of i i. Sigma of the third root of i sigma to the fourth root of i is I wonder what it's gonna be. Okay, now why were we silly? Okay, we know that we got it's just the second power would return i, but we need it on both of these generators for the order to be four. For the order to be four, we need to know that four is the smallest power that we can take raise sigma to to get the identity on this generator and this generator. So four is the smallest number here, and two is the small. Well, one is the smallest number here, but we need four because of the top. Okay, so order of sigma is four. Now we can put a check mark. Now we can put a check mark. Yes, we'll put it in yellow. That's double yellow, triple yellow. Doesn't that look like yellow? Okay. All right.
Let's do this one. I think is probably be quicker. Okay. We want to show that the order of tau is two. So tau on both of these generators. Fourth root of two returns. Fourth root of two. And tau squared, fourth root of two. Is tau of tau, fourth root of two. Which is tau of fourth root of two. Which is fourth root of two. Yes, we're being very complete here. And so now let's check tau on i. Tau of i is negative i. And then tau squared of i. Is tau of tau of i. Which is tau of negative i. We take that negative out. Get negative negative i. Yes. So, putting these two facts together, we conclude that the order of tau is indeed 2. And that's the smallest power. Check oh, mark. Check mark. And yellow. Okay, last thing to show. I have rotations, and I, I mean, I have an element of order 4 and an element of order 2, but hey, that, we could possibly have z4 cross z2. But why do we not have that? Um, well, we'll tell you why. <laughs> we'll tell you why, because... We have this defining relation on the um, on the dihedral group. So, to show that the left automorphism equals the right automorphism, we just have to say they agree on the generators. So we want to show this automorphism on 4 through to 2 is equal to tau on 4 through to 2. So sigma tau sigma on the 4th root of 2 equals... Uh, sigma tau, sigma 4th root of 2 is i 4th root of 2. Look at the board. I know, but occasionally you can talk to them and say, hey, they're all. This is, this is doing well. Okay. <laughs> Business first, yes. Yeah. Okay, so tau of i is negative i times the 4 through 2. So tau fixes the 4 through 2, okay. Yep. So we have sigma now of negative i times sigma of the 4 through 2. Step. Indeed, definitely an extra step. But you were standing in front of it, they couldn't see it. Extra step. Yeah. <laughs> um, so i is fixed, and then 4 through 2 goes to i 4 through 2. So this gives a. I mean, just pick a line of iron. 4 through 2. Which is precisely tau of 4 root of 2. So on the generator 4 root of 2, this triple of automorphisms equals the tau automorphism. So now I think in this space here, we can show the other one. Sigma tau sigma of i. This will fit. I feel like it will fit. I think it will too. All right, so sigma tau of sigma of i is i. Yeah. Um, Tau of i is negative i. Gonna just take the negative out. Sigma fixes i. So then negative i. And that hopefully is tau of i. i is, is that negative so? I. That is yes. true. So putting these two facts together, we know we have proven the following that. Defining relation of rotation. Flip rotation is that flip. So we conclude that we can just erase this word claim, erase that underbrace. Say so the Galois group of the splitting field of this polynomial over Q is isomorphic to symmetries of a square. And um, let's hold this thing up. And this is not a square. This is a uh, well, this is the hypercube, and it has 384 symmetries, clearly, because it's a four-dimensional square in the hyperoctahedral group. It has that many elements, and this isn't a square. Clearly. Clearly. What should we do? Uh, maybe let's just do this and then jump around. Like, like jump and then face the other way. Do you want to do a, a thumbs up? A thumbs up? No, like, I was going to say that. You, you didn't make any sound when you jumped. You didn't either.
Do I say hi and bye to the video people? These are math people. Hi. Math club president. Math club uh, co president. Co president. Vice president. Vice yeah. president. Um, we have to go do math club things. We're okay. going to go do that now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye. Cheers. You should stop it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>